Hi, welcome back to Hive Edwards. Hope you're having a good day. Mmm, not quite sure what I'm doing today. So, Badger Brewery, Tropical Ferret. It's their Mango and Passion Fruit um, IPA. And these are normally flavours I associate with a craft beer. Um, mm. So, is this a traditional beer going down the craft element? You know, that sort of mashing of... Minds and ideas, I am waffling. Let's get it open and uh, go for it. I've been um, very impressed with the Badger box set that I got. And I just picked it up in Morrison's, about nine quid, something like that, nine fifty, I think it was. Um, and on the whole, fantastic. I haven't reviewed all of them because some of them are I've done before. And if I do every single beer in a box, you guys are just going to get bored of that brewery, so I kind of mix it up a little bit. So, all right. So, we have, I can smell this already. So, we've got a very clear sort of amber, typical sort of ale colour, slightly more. It's darker than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's sort of, uh, with the light behind it coming through, it's a sort of very orangey amber. Head look is really tight sort of fine micro bubbles sort of stick into the glass and there is that sort of fruity bit of uh, citrus sort of grapefruity there so it's more I would say well forgive my crassness but like a grapefruit IPA if you get my drift that sort of um, Okay, but very fruity. Cheers. So that's really interesting. So I was expecting, like a craft beer, where they just sort of eat mango and, and all these flavours is wrapped up, um, you know, ramped up to, wrapped up to 11. They might be wrapped up to 11, but they're also ramped up to 11. And I was expecting that. So... There is a big citrus flavour. It is very fruity. He says, talking into the glass. There's a gentle bitterness there. Fades nicely on the back. Yeah, it's got something about it. There's a little bit of mango there, but had I not read the back of the bottle, or the front of the bottle, I'm not sure that I would have picked it up as a mango. I just thought it would have been very fruity. Not picking up any passion fruit. Okay. This isn't bad, but it's not doing it for me. Um, it, it is that. So the flavours aren't massively big, and they're not what I call craft beer big, um, or similar to the craft beers that I've tried in the past. Um, but it isn't doing it for me. It isn't, and this is going to sound weird, it's not beery enough. Um, so the grapefruit is there. There is a mango fruit or, or fruitiness as I said I'm not sure that I could have told you that it was mango um, but it's just too those flavors just aren't doing it for me it's not foul it's not revolting but it's just not pushing my buttons okay um, let me know what you think um, I know a couple of other beer reviews have, have reviewed this uh, if you've tried it, uh, drop it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Um, and Madam Dractor's waving at me. What's the percentage? Oh, yes, because we like interested in those things. What would I do with that? <laughs> okay, this is a 4.6 uh, in a stonking 500 mil bottle. Thank you. And it's from Badger Brewery in Dorset. Yeah, and uh, it came in my uh, in my beer box. Um, so <laughs> Sorry about that. So where was I? Yeah, if you've tried it and you've liked it, um, let me know. If uh, Tell me what you think. Um, not bad, but not for me. There you go. What else can I say? Cheers.